subscribe now. Welcome to Austin Hawkins Live. I'm Austin W. Hawkins. Um, today's video, I'm, I'm not trying to be authentic. I'm just trying to be myself, see what happens. I never went to school for like filming, editing, this and that. So to get just a camera right now set up for this video, my MacBook with a blue ice ball microphone is sitting right here. The MacBook is on a chair, just a regular kitchen chair on top of a regular kitchen table that I got for free. I am sitting on a kitchen chair I got for free. The only lighting right now is just my average house light. I picked the, uh, I love Slipknot right now. I'm really excited for the new album, but I picked like the worst looking shirt I could look in. I didn't do any makeup or anything. Usually I'd like add some cover up or something. And so I just want to make this more authentic, just kind of be me and see how well the video does. Obviously it's going to be boring. I don't even know what to talk about. With all my other videos, I'm not faking the funk. That is me. That's who I like to be. I've been doing a lot of acting auditions recently because uh, my job didn't leave me off after I worked for him for seven years. And yeah, I'm loving the time off. And so yeah, I've been acting a lot more and I don't like acting. Okay, all my YouTube videos, again, what you see, that's me. That's authentic. I don't fake the funk. I don't like that. And so I go to acting auditions when the role requires something for me to be kind of my type, my personality, or what I feel as a character, it doesn't feel like acting. I just go on and be myself if I get the role, then so be it. When I go to acting auditions, though, and like, you can do a lot online now, which is really cool. So when I get to be, say, like, a bad guy, oh, I am the happiest camper in the world. I'm like, I actually get to act. I get to say a mean thing for once in my life. I don't have to be overly energetic, which is just me in general. Like, I actually get to challenge myself. So in a way, I use more energy to have less energy. And just speaking of film and being on camera in general, I've loved doing YouTube. It was my challenge to do it for a full consistent year. I did that. I made 50 amazing subscribers. Obviously, people are like, oh, if you don't have a million, then what's the point? But you can have a million followers, but do they care about you? I just, I feel deep down in my heart the 50 who did subscribe actually liked my stuff, and that means the world to me. At some point during that year, I made one person smile, and I'm gonna take that. I think that's amazing. I know this hair right now looks atrocious. There's like a big cowlick sticking up like that. This is intentional, okay? I'm just trying to have fun on camera for once. Let me enjoy this. Overall, though, there's been so much going good for me right now. I've had a lot of time to get back into writing, which I'm really happy about. I'm mostly writing scripts, more private things I'm not allowed to release and all that, which is really cool. But with writing, it, it really bugs me. I, I was not a good English student, but if the scenarios line up, if I'm with me and my MacBook, I could write all day. But if everything around me is there, like if I go to Starbucks, my coffee tastes great, great it's cool quieter and it's bugging me, I already had a good productive day, I could write for hours on end. But if I wake up one morning and I just sit down at the table with my computer, I'm not going to get anything done. I need a good situation to write all freaking day, which I'm actually trying to line up for right now. If you don't know my full history, I actually have received over 10 million views on my Instagram page. Mostly because of fitness photos and fitness memes, or memes as I like to call them, which I'm really happy about. 10 million views is insane. But I haven't been doing it as much recently because, well, my dad follows me on Instagram now. And just because even posting a meme, there's so much hate online. And don't get me wrong, I love receiving any kind of message. If it's hate or a bot, it's still an honor to me because they took the time or spent the money to message me. But every now and then it's like, oh, I need a little bit of a break. So yeah, a very different video for me. I just miss talking to the camera and flirting with that sexy, beautiful person right there. Also, a fun fact, I used to drink diet soda for like all my videos now I think about it. This is how I stay hydrated. I drink so much water throughout the day that when I'm doing YouTube, I'm like, you know what? I want a diet soda, that'd be fun. Another fun fact about me is I love chocolate chip mint ice cream. That is my favorite dessert. I haven't had it forever. I'm really excited for that. Another fun fact, all the movies I watched that come out of the year of 2019, 
I am making a rank list. I've already seen about 15 to 20 or so that came out in 2019. So again, from worst to best, it's pushing me to like watch different kind of movies I wouldn't normally watch and this and that. And, and that's going to be a fun video at the end of the year. I'll put it out around New Year's and it's going to be one or two videos. And oh, there's been times when I'm like, I just wasted three hours of my life, but it's all worth it for you. And what's another fun fact of me? Another fun fact is my most viewed video, I do believe it's about at 500, 600, I totally forget right now. But I did a live reaction to Lil Dicky's Freaky Friday music video. If you haven't watched it, you probably have. It's a great music video. I highly recommend checking it out. It's my only video that ever got demonetized. But because I have so little followers and everything, I felt like it was worth it because I brought so many views and a couple subscribers to my channel. And again, I had a, I just had a great time making that video. I put something on. I got to just be myself for five minutes. I wasn't focused on that camera of all those beautiful people watching. And I really enjoyed that. So who knows what's up next for me on YouTube. Again, thank you all so much for putting up with me. If you have any other questions, please comment down below. If you like the video, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. That would really make my day. Thank you all so much.